Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg, and if you're new here, thank you for stumbling across this channel. I try to put out videos on a daily basis throughout the week, sometimes on the weekend if I get a chance. If you're a continuing subscriber, thank you for your support. I enjoy all of that support, as I really need that support as much as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that this video will earn your subscriptions. With that said, let's get into today's video. So, you know, I want to talk uh, briefly about leadership. Who are the leaders on this Washington Commanders football team as of today? Well, you know, I would definitely say one leader that stands out, and you don't get this very often in this position, is uh, Terry McLaurin, wide receiver. And honestly, you don't get a lot of wide receivers who are necessarily you probably get wide receivers who are team captains but a lot of times wide receivers wind up being divas right because they just want the ball you know they they want to be the the flashy players who make the highlight reels they want to be the guys who making all the money you know they come they come into the stadiums wearing the bling iced out all this stuff so you often don't have those guys being locker room leaders sometimes you wind up seeing those guys being more of cancers in the locker room but this doesn't seem to be the case with terry mclaurin terry mclaurin honestly appears to be such a, a bright young man right and a leader he has really turned into a leader and one thing that really impressed me, and of course it choked up a lot of us, <laughs> choked up me certainly, um, since I have experienced recently with losing a parent, you know, the, the emotion from Ron Rivera. After the game, you know, Rivera just so emotional. He couldn't really go, you know, get through the uh, post-game speech. And... Terry McLaurin just jumped in there and finished it up. I just want to play this clip for you. Hopefully you can hear it. Yeah. You know, at some point, it had to be let out. It had, it, it definitely has to be let out. Mama would be proud. Yeah. You can see how much that means to him. It means a lot to everybody in this locker room, bro. We set the tone. We took it to them. We don't got shit from no fucking bottom, bro. We set the tone, man. I'm sorry for it. The language you try to keep it out. We practice hard. We take it to people. We be opportunistic, and we gonna win games, bro. So there you go. Terry McLaurin jumping in there, being the leader finishing up the the post game speech there but you can just you can just sense the maturity of terry mclaurin as you're hearing him in press conferences and and that sort of thing just just the brightness just the intelligence from this guy i mean you know that during the off season he was kind of you know he was going through his holdouts and i know whenever you hear about players going through holdouts you have some of the the fans that come out and they're like look is he really that good i mean come on you know we we've got we just drafted john dodson you know and if if um if brown if uh, diami brown can come out and and start participating and 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 really you know become 
the player that we were hoping he would be. We don't need Terry McLaurin. Yes, you do, because there is more to Terry McLaurin than just going out there and catching passes. You know, you need someone who is a complete player from the locker room, from someone who is off the field, a high character player, someone who works on his craft like what Terry McLaurin has done. You know, he talked about working on those areas of his game that were weaknesses. He was basically the run and gun type of wide receiver, the the deep pass catching wide receiver. He want to, he wanted to do the go routes. He was the one who was going to stretch the field all the time. And then he realized that he had to work on those shorter and intermediate routes, those those crossing routes, those comeback routes, those things like that where you really earn your bread and butter and where you really have to take a lot of hits. And McLaurin has probably made that into more of his strengths here lately. And because of that, he's become more of a complete player, in my opinion. And because of that as well, he's really, truly solidified himself as a number one wide receiver. And because of that, he's also solidified himself as a team captain, and he has become a leader on this team. Now, most certainly, he's probably not the only one who is a leader on this team. I would probably say John Allen is is another one of those guys who is a great example of being a leader who has not only gotten a big payday, but he has continued to improve. And, you know, I've talked about this in, in past videos where I've said that, you know, some guys after they get their payday, they kind of just put it in neutral and just kind of drift, at least until they get into the next uh, year where they have to really start producing, you know, if they want to continue to have a contract extension and they'll start they'll start showing you a little bit more <clears throat> not John Allen John Allen has continued to feast and because of that we have been able to witness a guy that is probably I would say John Allen is a generational player honestly Terry McLaurin could certainly turn into a generational player as well probably a little too early to speak on that but these guys they they are really special players and these are the guys that you want to you want to build your team around you know on offense and defense and I tell you what I am so glad that we were able to get a contract extension for Terry McLaurin this is the guy that I think is going to help build up this team especially on the offense it's going to help build up Terry uh Taylor Heineke, you know, Taylor Heineke looks for Terry McLaurin, and half the time he's able to find him. He's starting to anticipate when, where, and when Terry McLaurin's going to be open. And this is very good news for this Washington offense that really has to come to life at the most critical moments of the season, which is now. And it looks like this is what's starting to happen. So I would say if I put my money on anybody, it's going to be Terry McLaurin. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.